Hi, this is Scott Spiro, and I'm coming to you, well, not really live, frankly, but I am coming to you from Los Angeles, California. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here at the beach. Uh, nice blue ocean. I've got my, uh, my boogie board I'm ready to go out, but first I want to talk to you about Microsoft Office Service Pack 2. Now, this is a big upgrade uh, from Microsoft, and the question that I'm being asked is, should you upgrade? Well, in a short answer, it's yes, you should. Uh, and it's not an automatic upgrade, uh, generally speaking. So you want to go, if you're using Windows XP, go to your control panel, go to Windows Update uh, Vista, you'll want to go to the Windows Update service and, and do this uh, manually. Um, but there are some, there are some great benefits. Uh, if you're a user of Outlook, for example, Outlook is, is more stable, it's faster, it closes quicker, um, it's more predictable as far as its pending activities are concerned. Uh, the rendering is improved, folder switching also improved, uh, and there's some general calendar improvements that I think you'll find to be extremely useful. Um, data file checks have been reduced as well. I, I think it's uh, I think for Outlook users you'll find it uh, a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, Excel, number of upgrades in Excel. Uh, the charting mechanism has been improved. Uh, there's a chart object that's newly uh, added. Um, shapes are rendered more quickly. Um, the method by which Excel actually prints its graphical content, uh, especially when it prints to CL printers, has been improved. Um, conversion rates have been improved. So across the board, uh, Excel has been, um, I think it's a better program, frankly. In PowerPoint, when you zoom in to, to shape edit, that's been improved. Uh, faster file resaves. Um, several printer-specific um, fixes have been introduced. Now, if you want a longer list of the updates that have been implemented, I would suggest going to the Microsoft Office update site and taking a look there. Now, one other word of caution. I don't recommend doing your upgrade during the business day. Uh, I've got about um, 6,000 emails in my inbox, and it literally took an hour for um, Outlook to bring itself back to life after I did the update. So um, I would recommend doing it in the early morning or evening or even on the weekend if you can bring yourself to do it. Anyway, I welcome your comments and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.